Hi everyone, I am Shubham Garg and welcome back to the lecture series of Tana. So we will be continuing the series and in today's lecture we are going to see how to simulate an inverter using T-SPICE. So, so far what we have done is we have used uh, the sources and we have used the plots to simulate and find the plot. Alright, that is we uh, put these sources like VDC, VDD, everything. Uh, for the input and for the output and overall voltage and we uh, use the voltage print plots to finally get the final graph. However, in T-SPICE the good thing is that we don't need to put all those uh, voltages and uh, the graph plots uh, on, and all the probes in input and output. We just need to add few commands and we can perform the analysis. Also one more important thing is that uh, we, uh, what we do normally we go to setup and we set up the SPICE simulation right. Here uh, in T-SPICE uh, we don't need to set up simulation okay. In fact uh, the way we add always add this library file we can directly add the t, uh, library file this path to the T-SPICE uh, in that command. So uh, uh, there won't be any need of adding the library file here as well. Although you can add so it will automatically be there in your code. So that's why I have added it is better to add here. So here you can see it is an inverter. So there is one PMOS, one NMOS, VDD and ground and input and output. Okay, there are no other sources, nothing. Alright, so now uh, what we will do, you, you need to click on this button that is open in T-SPICE. I will just use a magnifier. So here you see this purple button open in T-SPICE, this T button that is for open in T-SPICE. Okay, so you need to click on this and a window will open uh, that will show you the SPICE code. So we will wait for that to open and here you can see the T-SPICE window is open. Now you can see here that this is the library file which is automatically there that is dot .lib and then the path of library and space tt at the end. Okay, so uh, you can add this manually as well or uh, it is better to add the library file in that general section so it will be all, always be there. Alright, so here uh, you can see first of all what we are going to see uh, this is the design path and all the uh, information for the design. Okay, so here uh, this is the area where we need to add the code. Okay, so we will be adding the code and this thing, this will be automatically be there when you uh, will simulate your program, when you open your program in T-SPICE. Uh, this is actually uh, MMN1 is for the NMOS and MMP1 is for the PMOS. These are the specification as per the library files which are available uh, from which we have uh, used the instance of PMOS and NMOS. Okay, so these will be already there if you, your circuit have more than uh, two PMOS and NMOS, then, NMOS, then there will be more lines like this. Okay, so it is basically defining uh, the PMOS and NMOS. Alright, so first of all what we will do is we will do the transient analysis. You see we have uh, done transient analysis, DC analysis, everything. So we will uh, do transient analysis uh, using this key spice. Okay, so uh, for once, uh, let's just keep transient analysis aside, okay, uh, because uh, I am going to show you few commands that will be there in every program, okay, that are the common commands. Then I will uh, show uh, what is that command for transient analysis. So first of all, uh, you remember, if you, if you remember, what we do uh, in a circuit, we have a voltage source that is for the common output voltage source, okay, that is VDC right and there is a source that is for the input so we need to have two sources that is uh, one for vdc and one for input okay so here uh, we can write let's say i write v1 this is for vdc okay and here what we need to do is we need to give the values for the v1 that is uh, v1 is the name that is this is the name of the voltage source now here uh, i want the positive terminal of v1 to be VDD okay that is we use a connect positive terminal with VDD and the negative terminal with ground so it is that that V1 will be having VDD and ground and we will be giving the maximum value of the V of V1 let's say 3.3 volts okay this is the output that is uh, this is the that VDC source okay now comes the input source so here for the input source we have let's say voltage V in 
or we can name it we do uh, it depends on us okay so there is this uh, input pulse that is i n and uh, the next thing is ground uh, because you see the positive terminal is connected to the input and you see in our design here in SHD, the input terminal is named i n so that's why uh, we use this okay and uh, the negative terminal is connected to ground for v2 so that's why we use ground all right so this we have done and now after that here we need to define what type what type of pulse or what type of stream we are going to give as an input like we uh, in the previous videos you have seen we have used various kind of streams like uh, vac uh, we have used v pulse we have used v bit all right so here i am going to show you uh, v pulse and v bit one by one so first i am going to show you uh, pulse so for that you need to write uh, pulse okay and uh, the brackets will be there and then you need to provide these values so just stay with me uh, for a minute i will explain what these values are okay so i am just writing these values and in a moment i am going to explain this okay so this is how your command will look like that is this uh, input voltage source uh, when you define it as a pulse okay so now coming to what these values are so here i will show you so here this is the uh, actual command that we used that is vn in ground and then pulse and all these values so now starting with the values so here uh, this is the lower voltage level that is we are giving the pulse so lower voltage level is 0 and the higher is 3.3 so we can see this is the higher voltage level all right now next talking about this zero this is the initial delay talking about this one n n is there for nanoseconds all right this is the rise time similarly this other one n this is the fall time this 10 n is the on time and 20 n is the off total time all right that is total time of a pulse of a single pulse all right so uh, this is what these values meant okay and this is how we give v pulse as an input all right so uh, now coming back to our spice code here uh, we have given the input now next thing is we need to give uh, we need to perform the transient analysis all right so we are going to give dot tran that is the command for transient analysis and now you remember in the spy simulation we set up the transient analysis and we set the start time and the total time uh, the step step size and the total uh, size like this we can see we set up spice simulation here and in the transient analysis we set stop time and maximum time set this value we set okay so here these values i am going to give let's say we give the transient analysis uh, for 1n okay and uh, we are giving for 100n alright and now we need to print the voltages that is we need to print the pulse so there is the command dot print instead of uh, attaching the probes we just need to add this command and here we need to print voltage so capital V for voltage and uh, voltage at the input so input terminal name is in and similarly the voltage at the output that is V in the bracket now so this is your simulation spice code and dot end should be there it is by default there so just make sure it is uh, okay so these are the command that is first we give the vdc first we created the vdc then uh, the input voltage then for the transient analysis this command and then for the print uh, that is for plotting okay so uh, now let us simulate it so first of all I will just save this okay and now after saving here is this W option that is for the W edit waveform editor or you can just directly run that's okay yeah so first of all you need to run this run simulation just click yes and let's see yeah so there are no errors and we can see our waveform is there all right so here is our waveform here we have uh, performed this transient analysis all right so 
this is how we can perform the transient analysis using uh, our t spikes all right so now let's see the command for dc analysis okay so here for dc analysis as uh, for transient analysis the command is dot tran uh, for dc analysis it is dot dc okay that is for dc analysis and uh, for the input that is v2 uh, because we have defined v2 as the input all right now here we need to give these values that is the start time and all that 0 3.3 .3 volt okay and uh, we will be giving this value that is 1.1 .1 volt so once you will uh, see uh, you will uh, you will see the plot you will understand what is this 1.1 .1. all right so here i am going to save it now i am going to run it again and here uh, you will see that there will be two plots this time because we have transient analysis and uh, the dc analysis so here you can see there are two plots that is one for this transient analysis and another is for the dc analysis all right so here uh, this is how you perform the dc analysis using these commands okay so uh, this is how you have performed dc analysis now one more thing i want to show that is how to give v bit as the input all right so uh, we have because we have given uh, vdc as the input now i want to show you how to give v bit as the input all right so i will remove this uh, dc analysis and here uh, i am going to give v bit so here i am going to remove it till here so there this will be common that as v2 is the name of the input then it is connected to input and ground okay now here for the bit uh, we need to use uh, this word that is bit okay now for normal curly normal brackets and uh, in, inside these there will be curly brackets and here you, we will be specifying the bit stream that is uh, what stream of the input that is 0 and 1 we need to give now we need to specify the on and off time okay that is on uh, let's say for 5 and off will be on 0 okay so this this is how we specify the bit so let's just save it and let's run the simulation to see if we get the proper transient analysis so looks like our simulation is working fine okay yeah okay uh, yeah so uh, i guess i specified a voltage incorrectly uh, yeah the input voltage is 5 okay on is 5 uh, that's why there is uh, it is from 3.3 to 5 so that's okay uh, we can change it from here that is on is equal to on value we can give it 3.3 .3 as well let's just change it and let's close it yeah so we will just simulate again okay so let's simulate it again yeah so now it is fine here is the simulation and we can see we have our plot uh, using tspice okay so this is how uh, we can use tspice for the plot now uh, in this video we will uh, see it till here only and in the upcoming videos we are going to see how to calculate the delay that is the propagation delay the power consumption and everything using t-spice okay we will see power consumption using t-spice and we will use these plots uh, to calculate the delay okay i will show you how in the upcoming videos and power consumption we uh, we have seen in many videos uh, for many circuits uh, using the commands so that is uh, that command we are uh, using the probes and everything so we will see that using the uh, t spice command all right so this is all for this video see you guys in the next video